Hello everybody, it's Tina from Tina's Messy Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you're good. I am here to share Clear the Bucket Project Share. And you're all wondering, what is she talking about Clear the Bucket? Well, on my table, I throw anything I'm using, like scrap paper in this, images I may cut out. And my goal is to at least have the scrap paper used on a project. And if I don't use it, I'm going to recycle it. Right now, what's in here is I got this paper I'm saving regardless. But I, it's just like a couple images I cut out. Some of those little gift bags I received. But this thing was packed with paper I used on projects this whole month of June. It is the 30th, so I had to have it done. I gave myself two days to do it. So I thought I'd share what I used the paper on and other things that were stuck in here that I'm like, you know what? Create it or lose it. So here we go. First thing I did the other night, I was actually live when I started this, is I got out my index box, which is this middle box. And I had some index cards in it. There's already a bunch in here I already did. And I still got some blank ones. A lot of these the girls had fun doing. But these are the ones I made recently. So all I did is I took paper and I just kind of squared it up. I may have ripped it or I may have cut it. And I just created a background. And then I had these in the bucket. And I added some color to the faces. So that's that one. This one. This one. And I could put my information on them. Here's a strawberry shortcake one. This one is double. Oh, nope. This one isn't double sided. Okay, my bad. This one. Just fun little mixed media pieces. And this one I got this guy he's from the magazine. I put a crown on him. I made flower with some of the pieces. And then I've used the Tim Holtz in. If you met my family, you would understand. This is funny. This is cute. And then this one. The faces again, and I just kind of doodled. Then I have a couple playing cards that were in the bucket that I just covered made some little ATC cards that I can use in the future. And then, right there, here's some I made, like that, front and back. Here's one with circles on it as well, like I did. And I forgot to finish it, I don't know why, because I, if you can tell by the squares, I kind of doodled it around him. That's what this is supposed to look like. I didn't do that real quick before I forget. So I set it now and then I'll put it away. So I just kind of highlighted the circles. Like so. And you can do whatever you choose. My bad. It's all right. And uh, there's no mistakes in crafting. No mistakes. I just want to highlight the circles. And then I can just go boom. See how fast I am? It's just to. Because it's a background. You build it. I built it, you fit it, and maybe down the road I'll grab it and I'll add something to the top of it. That's all it is. So we got that one. I think I shut all. There we go. So then my, this was all paper that I used throughout this month. If it was ATCs or something I was doing on, and this is all the paper. So this is what I created. So I didn't waste the paper. I'll probably use this quicker than I would have used the scrap paper personally. So I got that. And then I saved my flower seed packets that I planted this spring, which the flowers didn't grow for some reason. I bought a bunch of them at a garage sale for 10 cents a piece because I wanted the package. It's not so much the seed. So I threw, threw the seeds in this pot and they're not growing. So I saved the packages. So save your packages if you plant flowers because this was, I liked how this they turned out. Up here where it ripped a little bit and I fixed it, I did, and I ripped a little piece of the packaging. I just put some lace and then put the word dreams. Got a little lace and a flower and a button. 
And on this one, I did little bees and a butterfly. And all of them have lace or ribbon underneath each little element. Like that. Here's ladybugs. This is one of my favorites with the butterfly and the pearl lace. And then we have a bird. That one. Here's dragonflies and a butterflies. And another dragonfly and a little butterfly. Different type of dragonfly and a different type of butterfly on this one. One of these, it had to be this one, I got in friend mail. So I thought it was really cute. And that's what gave me the idea. And then I just happened to go to grad sale and they had these flower seed packets for like a nickel or a ten cents piece, so I bought them. Okay. And the next thing I came across today, when I got out my, I call it my snippet bag or my cluster bag. It's already material cut to make clusters. I came across the little boxes I did a while ago that I painted because they were white and uh, I forgot about them until today. So that got put on today's do list as well. So it's a little box, it's a matchbox. I painted them, mixed meated them up a little bit and the inside is painted as well as the outside and when you open it you get a little cluster kit and I just decorated the top of the box. So each one has a little cluster kit kit each one is everything I make is never the same unless I purposely do it the same you can see a little cluster kit get everything I'll show you what's in the cluster kit in a second it's one with flower a lot of a lot of butterflies I did butterflies another little butterfly butterfly here's one I did with like a stamp image and buttons and little mushroom who no, who who Ugh, can't figure what to say. How you can turn that little mushroom into something cute. I think the little mushroom. And here's a butterfly. So in each kit, the random, you get some first off you get the circles for the backing. You get some lace and some material. You get some bling. You get some pearls. Each one is just, each kit's, it's however I I'm, do it. But mainly you get about the same thing. You get some buttons. You get some little images. in each one to make a cluster. But that's how it's in each box. Images may vary. Bling may vary, they all vary. So if you put, you know, when I, because I will be selling these in the future sale. Um, so if you buy more than one, you're not going to get all this, the same in each one. Next thing I did is I came across my wooden dominoes. I did my, some mixed media paper on the back. And I'm like, okay, empty the bucket because that's where they were. And I made a little cluster on each one. Mainly these are butterflies on these. Whoop. I was doing these wooden dominoes long before everybody else all of a sudden got in a mad rush on YouTube. I, I laughed because I, laugh I did mine way back in November and December of this past year when I stocked them at the Dollar Tree and came home with some. Yes. So I did them. And then I had some checkers. I put some of my mixed media paper on in a bucket. Time to clean the bucket. So, got a mushroom and some bling and some material. All I did is little clusters on them. I think they turned out really cute. There we go. And that is today's work. Well, most of this was today. All this right here was today. Right here. I did them today. That today. These I did the other night. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you like what I create and look for it in a future sale. And this is how it's going to be in a future sale, by the way. I'll show you. You're going to get one of my backgrounds. Because you can take 
my background and maybe add that. Like, let's see, let's grab one. We can, oh, see, I have to finish this one real quick. So you get, let's say you could take this, put it in a corner, put your information, or even a domino, boom. Okay, that's, that's how I think. Or even take the bird seed packet and you can add it. And then you can add a cluster down here or even a domino, another domino, like, like so. I mean, you can do a lot. So this is why I came up with this idea. And I like that the background adds to it. So you could go like this and say you trim this off, okay? Let's say you put this on here temporarily or permanent. I'm not going to do it. You can add this and then you could stick a little cluster kit in here as well as maybe the little um, checker. I'm just giving you an example. You glue that down and you can make it look like that. And you can kind of put your little information on the back. So, let's get this all out now. I can show you how this is going to be. So basically, I, it's like a little kit I came up with. So you, you would get a background, one of the um, flower seed packs, okay. a domino, one of the little kits, and I just randomly, I don't specifically put it together, it's just random, and a, and a checker. Oh, come on, Dave. Work with me. <laughs> Boom. And if you package stuff similar to that. And that would be one thing I will have in my sale in the future. So I thought I'd just share that with you. I thought it was kind of cute. And who knows? I may have tucked some more in there but yet. You never know. So I want to thank you guys for watching on my empty the bucket project share in my future and future sale item and i want to thank you for watching as always be happy be kind be safe be funny be crafty and bye for now everybody and have a good day